thanks everybody for viewing this video I would like to today talk to you about Commvault and creating client groups and wh now why do you create client groups what's the whole reason behind this some of the companies you may work for maybe you have large companies they have lots of clients they have one com server let's say they need to be able to distinguish between a client in say Dallas or the West or Texas and let's say Florida so they need to be able to distinguish that they need to be able to specify what location it's in uh, quickly and maybe they need to pull a report to say uh, here's what's being backed up or um, here's some of the metrics for that that client that we're backing up and in doing so you know some of it becomes very unmanageable so the client groups are have are have make you available or have the ability to have you um, manage the environment more more easily for instance if we take a look at our com serve here so if you can look at my com serve I will click on it so I'm gonna open up the client computers click that real quick now we only have three clients here I have the, the course the com serve I have a uh, Windows client and then I have a Linux client however if you have an environment that has hundreds or possibly tens of hundreds maybe 500 clients that's gonna be very difficult to manage or even take a look at because imagine if you pull a report for those 500 clients and you're not able to distinguish between what is backed up or it's just a lot of things to look at so that's the reason we create client groups client uh, computer groups so I'll take a look I'll show you what what I mean when I say that so I click on the client computer groups and I make it bigger and I've already actually propagated a bunch of these already the client groups so let's take a look at one of them uh, I've already actually set up so let's take a look at Dallas so if I click on Dallas here oh, I'm sorry Dallas I click on Dallas here you'll notice that I have the client in here ready now you might want to ask yourself well, how did you how did you get that there so what we do is when we set up the client group here I'll show you what I'm talking about right click on the client group right click on it right click on it right click on it right click right click you gonna right click for me no oh here we go it's kinda of slow com server is kinda of slow okay and what I'm trying to show you is how to set it up basically okay here we go so the group name I'm gonna call it Dallas clients and how um, how you want to set this up if you have a bunch of servers um, is you want to actually have it set up to where it's automatic automatically associating uh, the clients and typically what happens is in large environment large company what they'll have is they'll say in our case we have an airport code and our airport code is Dallas DAL and Dallas um, any server that's in Dallas goes here so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name I'm gonna on the client itself I'm gonna name the uh, client name Dallas DAL and what happens is when it's installed it automatically gets pushed to this this client group now it, it doesn't mean it's going to be backed up by this it's just a way to contain it or hold it um, so that other people can can look at it or you know again make it easier for reporting we're not going to set any of the um, we're not going to set any of the storage devices we don't set any of that stuff we're just going to put the group name put the automatic association what are you trying to uh, what are you trying to look at or what what's the scope we're trying to do all the clients in the com serve we're going to name the com serve there and um, match all so the client name contains DAL dash and then uh, client name does not contain index server uh, we do that because we don't want to back up the um, index server when we create media agents that's the reason for that I'm going to take it one step further I'm going to create for you I'm going to show you how to create this why well, I want to encompass all of these 
uh, sections. Let's say I want to encompass, I want to call it, an, I want to name an, a, an Asia group. So all of the clients in Asia. So we're going to right click on Client Computer's new client group. And we're going to name it, we're going to call it um, Asia. Asia, Asia. Okay, so that's there. And we're going to do uh, an automatic association. Okay, do that. And then from here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do um, automatic association. We're going to do uh, clients, clients of user group. Okay, clients of user group. Let's actually change that uh, to clients in the com cell. Okay, com cell. And here we're going to say rule groups, right? So we're going to do, um, we're going to see if we can change this to uh, client groups. 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 The intent was actually, uh, the intent was to just name the um, airport code basically, and then it'll all fall in there. But I want to see if I can do, um, if I can add a client group. Okay, so associated client group. Here we go. Okay, so associated client group. So uh, is equal to, let's do say Beijing, right? We'll go that one. Um, associated associated client group uh, is equal to say um, let's see Beijing um, Ganju I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm saying it right Ganju and then Shenzhen because that's in uh, let's see yes Asia associated associated client group okay client group is equal to Shenzhen, which is in, uh, that's the Silicon Valley of China, by, by, the, by the way, if you've never heard of that, that's where all the, um, uh, you know, that's where all the computer stuff gets vetted, and all the R&D, a lot of the R&D stuff. Well, let's actually rename this, let's name this to, um, will that be East China? We'll do East China, or East, how about East Asia? Yeah, East Asia, right? And we can add a couple more clients, but we're going to leave that for now. Um, we're going to leave it for now. And we're going to push OK. OK. So what we see here is we push on View. 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 OK, refresh. Yeah. Your, com your comps are really should be beefy, actually. I mean... Um, you know, imagine I had I cl imagine I had clients here. How how long that would that would take to propagate? I think my com server is like eight gig or ten gig of RAM, something like that. So if we look down here, we'll see East Asia. So there we go, East Asia. So we open that up, and then we're going to see all the other clients inside: the Beijing, uh, the Gaozhou, the Hong Kong, or not Hong Kong, but Hong Kong in there yet. is that at? Let's move this over. Over. There we go. Refresh. And let's see, East Asia. Hmm, weird. Wonder why I don't see it there. I had to take a look at that. I should see it there for now, actually. I don't know why I don't see it there. Hmm. Well, Let's do this. Maybe because I don't have clients in those. Um, let's do this. Let's create one that is, well, I've already created Midwest, right? So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to edit the Midwest one, and we're going to do Dallas. So Midwest is Dallas, right? Um, so we're going to edit this to name it the associated client group is equal to Dallas, Dallas clients, right? So what we've done is we've put the client group or the cl clients from Dallas, any Dallas, into the mid Midwest group. 
So I click on OK. And if I click on um, Midwest Group again, I should see it there. So let's just refresh. Yeah, I still see it there, obviously, right? Um, yeah, because I've changed, you know, I've automatically associated. So what's another example? So let me see my client, see if I can find the, I got the Unix client, or client computers, rather. What is my, D, oh, Dubai. Okay, here we go. So we're going to set up a uh, client group called uh, Dubai, or not Dubai, but the Middle East. And we're going to put the Dubai clients inside of that, right? So we'll put here Middle East, Middle East, okay? And we're going to automatically associate. We're going to do the associated, associated, I can spell right here, associate client group, right? And equal to Dubai, uh, Dubai, Dubai clients, yeah. So there's nothing in there before, obviously, right? So we're going to click OK. Oh, I need to do a scope. Uh, so I'm going to do ComServe. Propagate this ComServe. Click OK. And if we click on the Middle East now, or Mid East, right, basically. Middle East, OK. We'll see our Dubai. So this makes it, again, this makes it easier for me to um, troubleshoot to do pull reports and say I have 100 servers in the Middle East somewhere, right? Or let's say 200 servers, whatever, right? I'm able to actually go here and I can pull reports. So I go, like say view, uh, go up here actually. So I want to pull a report for say the Middle East, right? So I go to uh, reports, I go to job summary. Then I just want to look at the, the clients. Where's my thing in here? Here it is. And what I'm after, I'm after the job summary. So I'm after the job summary, and then I can go uh, backup job. So let's say, right? Maybe we could do calendar, detailed. I want to go under computers. And I want to just see the Middle East. I don't want to see all the other stuff. I mean, you can look at all this report to her. You'd imagine, the, in each side of these clients, you have clients 10, 20, 100, whatever it is. Um, that, that just gets so um, so much to to maintain or to to take a look at, right? Basically, um, any clients that are in the Middle East, they're going to get they're they're going to be looked at. Um, I can view the reports for them. So let's click here. Let's click Run. So it doesn't matter the, the options, it doesn't really matter. Obviously there's no, I didn't do a backup for it, but I'll probably see like no backups for this or whatever because nothing's happened. Uh, but there is, there's going to be some information when it pulls it up. Now this pulls up as a, uh, like a website basically, and it's all it is is it's an HTML on your comp serve. There's a folder that it saves it in uh, that your, your the report's pulling from or it's going to be placed in. As you, you know, as you work uh, for a company as a, a backup admin or something like that, storage admin, um, disaster recovery admin, network admin, sysadmin, whatever, and your role is managing, you know, these environments, these Commvault environments, this, these kind of things are going to be really helpful uh, for you because you don't want to, you want to just do your job and get done with it. Okay, I want to go in and look at what's error, what's faulted. And then get out, and then troubleshoot whatever it is. Like I want to fix that problem, and then get out. And this just makes it easier for you to look at everything as a whole. Reports um, just saves you so much time, so much time. And as you could see here, um, so we pulled the report. This is just general. So I'm looking at this um, client, right? And then all the information about it. Of course, there's no, uh, there's really no schedules, right? I don't have anything really going for it. So, um, but I mean, just imagine, right? Uh, this will just help you out actually in your day uh, when you have to troubleshoot this stuff and what's failed, what hasn't failed, whatever. So, yep. 
so that's that's it man um you know um anything else i can think of here off this type for this video but i don't think anything actually there's nothing i really can think about if you like this video or any other videos for that matter and you want to actually get this course you want to download it you want to uh, research and and try to um, learn right you can go to my web you can go to the website get an ai job in it dot teachable dot com or you can also go to the other which i have a course on on commvault which is learn backup and restore the commvault get a high paying job as well as the free one which is how to get your commvault ver version 10 working in two hours or you can go to my course on udemy which is learn backup and restore with commvault get a high paying job both of those uh, links i'll put in the show notes so I'd like to thank you everybody for watching this video and have yourself a great day.